What we do in the shadows is slowly creeping out of its coffin for a brand new season. Very cool master. And we are so excited. Or we would be if energy vampire Colin wasn't sapping our energy. But one of our favorite parts of the series has to be its near endless amount of amazing cameos. So let's explain every vampire cameo in what we do in the shadows. One of the biggest cameos obviously was Tilda Swinton. Swinton played the vampire Eve in Jim Jarmusch's Only Lovers Left Alive. Considered one of the best films of the 2010s, Lovers is a horror comedy starring Swinton and Tom Hiddleston. The story follows a married vampire couple who, after centuries of being alive, are finally dealing with ennui. Because what else would a Jim Jarmusch film be about? The next cameo is basically a spoiler for the movie he's from. Danny Trejo played a vampire in the Tarantino written From Dusk Till Dawn. From Dusk Till Dawn is one of cinema's greatest surprises, with the entire first half of the movie being a grounded crime film until it suddenly completely shifts to be an over-the-top vampire picture, complete with wooden stake guns and vampire strippers. If you haven't seen this film, go see it, though we kinda spoiled it. The next major cameo is star Evan Rachel Wood. While Wood is more known today for her role on Westworld, her first claim to fame was on the HBO vampire series True Blood. Considered to be a groundbreaking show for HBO, True Blood was set in a rural Louisiana town. Two years after the creation of Synthetic Blood allows vampires to live out of the coffin and be revealed to mankind, and chronicles the vampire struggle for equal rights. Evan Rachel Wood was introduced in season two as Sophie Ann Leclerc, Vampire Queen of Louisiana. I mean, it's Evan Rachel Wood, so she sure is my queen. The next cameo should be familiar to Joss Whedon fans, Paul Rubin from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. No, not the amazing Buffy TV series, the 1992 original film that started it all. Rubin's played Emmelyn, one of the minions of main baddie Lothos. Having served Lothos since at least the 14th century, he was eventually killed by Buffy in a fight to the death. But I mean, her name is Vampire Slayer. What did he expect? Next up is a trifecta of cameos with the appearance of Taika Waititi, Jemaine Clement, and Jonathan Byrd. You may remember these three hilarious gentlemen as being the vampires from the original film version of What We Do in the Shadows. Jemaine Clement himself is a producer on the show, and Taika Waititi has gone on to direct some small films like Jojo Rabbit and Thor Ragnarok. So you may not have heard of them. Hello, ladies. We'd also be remiss if we didn't mention Doug Jones, who played Baron Afanas, the ancient vampire leader from the old country. Doug Jones is perhaps best known for being in, well, everything. From Hellboy, to The Shape of Water, to Fantastic Four, to Men in Black 2, to Doom, to Pan's Labyrinth, to Star Trek Discovery, to Crimson Peak, to Ouija. Look, the man's been in a lot of things, okay? Yet, perhaps the biggest cameo was Wesley Snipes, who we should all know from his time as Blade, the most badass vampire killer to ever exist. Apologies to Buffy, but come on, it's Wesley Snipes. Those are all the cameos by ex-vampire actors that we caught, but we'd love to hear who you want to see appear this year. Our money is on Robert Pattinson, because we all need more sparkly vampires.